Transcript for Trump claims past presidents did and call families of fallen soldiers first, though that firestorm over President Trump's false accusations saying former presidents did and call the families of fallen soldiers. Backlash has been swift and fierce. Aides to President Clinton, George W. Bush and Obama have fired back. As he tries to present a united front with Republican leaders saying he and Mitch McConnell have an outstanding relationship. This, of course, after weeks of attacking him. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega is in Washington with the latest on all this. Good morning, Cecilia. Reporter Robin, good morning to you. This was an impromptu press conference here at the White House but it is that one statement from President Trump where he accused past presidents of not calling those families of fallen soldiers that this morning has him facing backlash from both past administrations and some of those families. At a surprise White House press conference. Thank you very much. Reporter President Trump broke his silence about why he had not yet commented on the deaths of four American Special Opera 4MS soldiers killed two weeks during a siege in Niger. I've written them personal letters. They've been sent or they're going out tonight but they were during the weekend. Has promised to call the families of the fallen. He accused his predecessors of not making those calls. The traditional way if you look at President Obama and other presidents, most of them didn't make calls, a lot of them didn't make calls. I like to call when it's appropriate when I think I'm able to do it. Reporter when asked to clarify that claim about President Obama, President Trump had few specifics. I was I was told that he didn't often and a lot of presidents don't. Reporter this morning, aides to the last three former presidents say that's just not true. Former Attorney General under President Obama Eric Holder tweeting stop the damn lying. You've the president. I went to Dover Air Force Base with 44 and saw him comfort the families of both the fallen military and the DIA. Gold Star families lashing out too. One mother tweeting, I'm a Gold Star mom and a disabled vet. Trump does not speak for me and did not speak for my son. He is an embarrassed many. Also in that press conference President Trump side by side with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a display of unity that seemed designed not just to convince Washington they can actually work together. My relationship with this gentleman is outstanding, has been outstanding. Reporter but also each other. We have the same agenda. We've been friends and acquaintances for a long time. We talk frequently. Reporter President Trump offered this message. The Republican Party is very, very unified. Reporter The President even helped McConnell up the stairs before leaving the Rose Garden. But just hours earlier, inside the White House, President Trump made it clear. He is not going to take the fall for his party. We're not getting the job done. And I'm not going to blame myself. It'll be honest. They are not getting the job done. Reporter On this controversy over calling fallen soldiers the White House is not backing down. Take a look at this press statement that Sarah Sanders sent me overnight. She said the president wasnt criticizing predecessors but stating a fact, individuals claiming former presidents such as their bosses called each family of the fallen or mistaken. But, Robin and George, I've got to say no one connected to any past administration at least none that we could find as making that claim this morning. And that statement itself just isnt really true, Cecilia. I mean the president was the one who brought it up himself. He is the one who talked about his predecessors. Reporter and George, this came as I said in this impromptu press conference. This was a question that was asked of President Trump. He was asked to weigh in on those fallen soldiers who were killed there in Niger. Why he hasnt weighed in at this point so this came sort of unsolicited and he sort of seemed to struggle through this answer a little bit. But you heard him there and he is facing a lot of backlash. That's why he backed away at the end as well. Cecilia, thanks very much. This transcript has been automatically generated and may not be 100% accurate.